Welcome back, Faith Warriors. This is Faith Warrior Roderick, with the ultimate goal is to inspire you, to build a better you, to help you discover your God, give a potential, and bring it out of you, to encourage you to repent, return from all of your sins, and to abide in Jesus Christ so that you can win and be all that he wants you to be. To empower each other, to enhance each other's lives by desiring the sincere milk of the word so that you can grow thereby, building upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets and Jesus Christ, his awesome self, being the chief cornerstone. Let's continue to fight the good fight of faith and lay hold onto eternal life. Now, today's lesson, we're going to go to the book of Galatians, the fifth chapter, and we're going to go, we're going to go start at the 19th verse, and we're going to try to go to the 21st verse, but it will be two parts. I will say that it's going to be a two parts. Um, so today we're going to talk about the works of the flesh, the works of the flesh, okay? The sinful nature that controls men when they allow it to control them. Okay, so these sins, if you do these sins, you will be in hell if they are not repented of. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Bible real quick. Right. Okay. And we're going to go to the book of Galatians. Okay, we're going to the book of Galatians, the Apostle Paul wrote to the Galatian Christians. Okay, and he was letting them know that if they do these sins, they will not inherit the kingdom of God if these sins are not repented of. Okay, contrary to what you're hearing in the world, you got people saying you can do these things once you confess God, you're good. It's all good. Once St. Paul would say, as a demon doctor from the pits of hell, do not believe it. Okay, now I'm also going to be translating these words in the Greek. So if, if, I, if I'm not pronouncing them right, please, please forgive me. And I'm definitely going to try my best um, to pronounce them right. Okay, so 17 works of the flesh, it is 17 sins that are listed um, in Galatians. The fifth chapter, the 19th to the 21st verse. Okay, so Pastor Paul says, Now the works of the flesh are manifested. The works of the flesh, the activity of the flesh, the action of the flesh, right, are manifested. Manifested means clearly seen. It is evident that what is being done is of the works of the flesh. Okay, that's what manifests seen, obvious, obviously. Okay, so now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Okay, number one work of the flesh is adultery. Adultery in the Greek means moikia, moikia, which means unlawful sexual relations between men and women. So if you are a man married to a woman or you are a woman married to a man, right? If you have a secret lover on the side, that is called adultery. If you're sleeping with that person on the side, that is called adultery. If you're going out on secret dates with a woman, even though you ain't probably into intercourse within her, that is still adultery because you went out on a secret date and your wife or your husband don't know nothing about it, right? Jesus Christ said, if a man look upon a woman to lust after her, he already uncommitted adultery in your heart. So you got to make sure that when you out in the world and you seeing women, right? You got to make sure that you ain't going to lust after them. Yeah, I understand women is beauty. You understand that? And I know that you're not blind. I understand that. But Christ said, if you look on her to lust after her, lust is a longing. You are longing for her. You desire her. You fantasizing about her. He said, you are committing adultery already in your heart. And you ain't even did the physical activity. Adultery, once again, is in the Greek is mokia, a lawful sexual relation between men and women. Okay. Husbands, stay faithful to your wives. Why stay faithful, faithful to your husband? Don't have a secret love on the side because if you die in that sin, you will be going to hell. I'm not being judgmental. I'm telling you what the word of God is saying. If you don't repent of that sin, you're going to hell. Okay? Work of the flesh number two, fornication. The Greek word for fornication is pornea. All right? It is unlawful sexual relations between men and women that are unmarried. So if you are unmarried and you have a boyfriend, if you are unmarried and you have a girlfriend, man and woman, woman and man, okay? If you have that and, and then if you are sleeping with each other and you ain't said I do, that is called fornication. Listen, you cannot do the do until you say I do. Before you do the do, you got to say I do. In the eyesight of God, because if you're sleeping with each other, that is called fornication. And if you die in that sin, then you will be going to hell. 
But God said, it's not my will that anyone should perish, but that all shall come to repentance. God wants you to repent. Don't stay in that sin, especially when you know that what you are doing is wrong. Now is the time to say, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I was, before I got married to my wife, I was a fornicator and I was wronged. It was not right what I was doing. And if I would have died then, I would have been in hell. But God gave me space to repent and I repented and turned from it. Jesus is calling you right now. You're either going to decline or you're going to accept. It's time for you to accept him into your life. Don't let fornication be your ruin. If you got a boyfriend right now, y'all can go out on y'all dates. Y'all can hold hands, kiss on the cheek, you know, a little pecker on the lips. It's okay. But don't get to start touching and doing all that stuff because when you start touching and doing all that stuff, it's going to arouse those feelings. And when it arouses those feelings, the kissing leads to other things and then it starts leading to the illegal things. And then next thing you know, clothes is going to be off and then fornication is going to be committed. Don't commit fornication. If you've been with your girlfriend for five years, it's time to propose. If you've been with your, your boyfriend for 10 years, it's time to propose. Don't be sleeping together for all those years. You playing with fire. It's time for you to put a ring on it and say, will you marry me? Paul said, it is be better to marry than to burn with the passion. It's the passion to commit a fornication. It's better to marry than to burn with that passion. Works of the flesh number three. Uncleanness. Greek word. Akatharsia. Which means whatever is opposite of purity. Including homosexuality. You know, man with man. Lesbianism. Woman with woman. Pederasty which means pedophilia or bestiality, um, humans messing with animals. Those things are considered unclean, okay? There's no man with man. There's no woman with woman. Those things are sinful. Now, many people would throw stones at me right now. They, they will say I'm hateful. I'm, I'm being spiteful. I'm, I'm unloving. I'm not unloving. I'm telling you what the word of God is saying. The word of God is saying I can't be an adulterer. It said I can't be a fornicator. It said I can't live in uncleanness with homosexual and lesbianism. I can't be a pedophile person. I can't be bestiality. Listen, there is still hope. You can repent to God. You can turn from your sin and repent to God. I'm not singling any one of these sins out. All these sins will send you to the lake which burn them with fire if they are not repented of. I love y'all, man. I do. I really love each and every one of y'all that listen to this video right now. If you are in any one of these sins, please turn to God. I'm not teaching these things because I hate you. I'm teaching these things because I love you. True love tells you the truth. Fake love will say, oh, it's okay, and they support what you're doing and saying it's okay. And when it's not okay, when they go from behind you, they say it's not okay. But to you, they make it like it's okay. It's not okay to be an adulterer. It's not okay to be a fornicator. It's not okay to live in uncleanness. It's not okay. God has made a way so that you don't have to be in bondage to those sins. There is a way out. Jesus is the hero. Grab a board. Come up on the board of Jesus. Grab up on Jesus. He will take you to higher heights. He will take you to deeper depths. He will cleanse you and purify you. Jesus is calling. Answer the phone. He's calling. Answer the call. Works of the flesh, number four. Lasciviousness, Greek word, asalagia, which means lasciviousness is promoting or partaking of that which produces lewd emotions. Anything that develops or, 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 or manufactures sin and lust, sexual sins and lust. That is why many worldly pleasures has to be avoided by Christians. That is why some things us as believers, we just cannot go to because it's going to be a lot of sexual perversion there. A lot of things that will cause you to sin against God. You and Then you're going to be committing lasciviousness. It's things on TV that we can't watch. We got to be careful. I have to change a lot of things that I watch on TV now. Certain things that I just won't watch now because I'm terrified because I don't want those bad lustful feelings to come up in me. 
When you give Satan an inch, he going to take a mile. We have to be on our guard. We cannot give place to the devil. Any kind of foothold he's going to try to get in your life, he's going to do it. Don't commit adultery. Don't commit fornication, uncleanness, and lasciviousness. Now, if you do do these things, ask God to forgive you of your sins, and then you have to turn from your sins. You cannot ask God to forgive you for these things and continue in them. That's not salvation. I'm sorry. I know it's a lot of people in churches teaching that today. They say, once you believe, you're good to go. No, it's not. If you confess your sins and believe in Jesus Christ and you turn your back on him and go back into your old sinful ways, you will die in your sins and you will go to him. Works of the flesh, number five, idolatry. Greek word, idolatria, meaning image worship. Idolatry includes anything on which affections are passionately set. We cannot commit idolatry. Praying to Buddha, getting on our knees and praying to Mary. There is no salvation in any of those. We don't kneel down and pray to a statue. There's no salvation in it. Peter said there's no salvation under any other name but by the name of Jesus Christ. We don't worship idols. We don't worship totem poles. We don't worship trees. We don't worship statues. We don't worship our houses. We don't worship our cars. We don't worship the TV. We worship God. Don't let these things take your heart. Set your mind on things which are above. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Where your heart is is where your treasure is. If your heart is upon this world, that's where your treasure is. If your heart is upon God, that is where your treasure is. Jesus said that himself. We have to take this life seriously. We have to take it seriously. We have to. Number six. Work on the flesh, number six, is witchcraft. Greek word, pharmakia, which means sorcery, practice of dealing with evil spirits, magical incantations, and casting spells and charge upon one, upon someone of means of drugs and potions of various kinds. All those type of things are rebellion and sin against God. Witchcraft is, is a sin against God. You believe it in a source, a, a fortune teller, or a palm reader to tell you how your day going to go? That is rebellion and a sin against God. Pray to God if you want direction. Pray to God if you need something revealed to you. Oh, how you know God ain't working through that? If he ain't working through that, that's a demon. Stop using that as an excuse. God has made a better way for you and me to have a relationship with him. Through his son, Jesus Christ, he is the way, the truth, and the life. We can come to God the Father only by Jesus Christ. If you love Jesus, you love the Father. If you reject Jesus, you reject the Father also. The works of the flesh are manifested in this world we live in. All these things that I've that I listed so far, that the Bible has listed so far, I'm going to clear that up, that the Bible has listed so far, we see in the world every day. And it's not okay. The world is going to tell you it's okay. You can commit adultery, you won't go to jail. You can commit fornication, you, you, won't, you won't go to jail. You can stand outside right now and pray to your car. You will not go to jail. You can have a boyfriend if you're a man. You can have a girlfriend if you are a girl. And it will be okay to the world, most places. It'll be okay, right? But to God, it's not okay. We have to turn from our sins and believe in Jesus Christ. This is not legalism. This is not me being judgmental. This is me loving you because I want to tell you the truth because hell is real and I don't want you to go there. I want you to follow Jesus. Don't believe in these false preachers out there that's telling you it's okay to do what you're doing. They lying to you. They're really, really lying unto you. They're lying. Don't believe them. Follow Jesus. Start with Jesus. Stay with Jesus. End with Jesus, he is calling. You got two options. Either you're going to decline or you're going to accept. Please accept me. Works of the flesh, number seven. Hatred, 
Greek word, ikanthra, which means bitter dislike or abhorrence, malice and ill will against anyone, tendencies to hold grudges. Don't have hatred towards somebody. Now, let me clear this up too. Just because I stand upon God's word and teach against sin and don't agree with sin does not mean that I hate you. I want to clear it up. Many people believe that if you stand upon a sin, if you, st I mean, if you stand upon God's word and stand against sin, they say that you are being spiteful and being unloving or you are being hateful. That ain't being unloving. That's not being hateful. I'm telling you what thus says the Lord. God said you need to repent. You have to repent. I'm not judging. Jesus said you need to repent. You need to repent. His apostles say you need to repent because they follow Jesus. You need to repent. Don't have hatred. Don't have bitterness towards nobody. Have love and compassion for them. Even if somebody is doing any one of these sins, don't hate them. Show God's love. You don't have to agree with what they're doing, but show God's love. Let God know, let them know that God is ready to forgive them. Now was the time to get it right. Now was the time. Now, remember I told you we're going to do two parts. We're going to cut it off right there in hatred. I just want to say something to you real quick. Please, please do not let sin control you. Do not let sin get the best of you. Do not let the works of the flesh work in your body. The Bible said, let not sin reign in your mortal body so that you may obey it in the lust thereof. Sin is like a tyrant. It wants to rule you, but God wants to save you from that bondage and set you free in his son, Jesus. Don't believe in these false doctors that you hear out there. If you go into one of these churches that is once saved, always saved, you need to run far from them. Far from them. Even if you have to stay at home and read your Bible and worship and pray to God right there, that's okay. I'd rather you run away from that false teaching church and, and, and have Bible study at your house, right? And you just pray and worship God there until God guides you somewhere else that's teaching truth. Because it is too much false doctrine out there and your soul is precious. It is precious to God. I love y'all. Please, we're going to pick this back up with part two of Works of the Flesh next time. Please, please follow Jesus' faith warriors. We are faith warriors for God. We fight for God. We stand for God. We stand for everything that he believe in. We love what he love. We hate what he hate. And at the same time, we still show love to try to draw them in. It ain't us being judgmental. It's us being loving. Watch those that tell you that it's okay to do what you're doing, knowing that it's wrong. You should want to listen to those that's telling you the truth. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Until next time, faith warriors, continue to reach higher and strive every single day to build a better you. And remember, Jesus is Lord, whether you believe it or not. Love y'all.